Hi guys. Uh, good evening. Hi teacher. Good evening. Oh, that was super weird. Hi. Hi. Good evening, guys. Super weird because estaba en esta misma. So I don't know what happened. I'm going to check out uh, in a couple of seconds. Oh, okay. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Hi, Belen. Great to see you. Andrea, thanks a lot. Nice to see you. Yeah, super weird. That was super strange. Okay, eso no me había pasado before. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot uh, for joining here. Francisco, nice to meet you. Uh, Felix, great to have you. Uh, Ruben, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Mr. Menedema, good evening. How are you doing, guys? Hi, guys. Yes. Uh, porque. Oh, okay, okay. Nice, but that's really good to hear. So thanks a lot for joining. Great to see you guys. Uh, sorry about the difficulties. No sé qué pasó, but um, it looked like we, I was in another could. medium, but I was here. <laughs> yeah. Difficult so. in a platform. I había dificultado. Oh, you had difficulties in the platform. Tres veces. Estaba a 10 para, la, para las 8. Uh -huh. Después, este, ya eran 4 minutos, no, no abría. Uh -huh. Después, 8 y 4, se volvió, ahí abrió. I know, it's super strange. I was here at 7.55, I think. And I was like, hey, what's going on? Where are they? <laughs> they disappeared, yeah, yeah. I said. <laughs> but I'm super problem. glad to see you. A no, problem. I know. A problem all oh, play platform. Yes, I know. Uh, Zoom was having like some issues there. But all right, great to see you guys. Uh, I'm super glad to see here. We got Francisco, we also have uh, uh, Maria Gabriela. I think I didn't see you yesterday, so I'm super glad to see you. Nice to meet you. Um, I see, well, Angelica say good evening. Great to see you as well. I think we got Helen here. So good evening, Helen. Hi, Kenya. Uh, I think you are leaving from work or Mercedes is leaving from work. I'm not sure who is still at work. But thank you guys so much for joining. How are you doing? Is everything okay? Are you doing fine? Yes, that is Mercedes, who is at work. Um, so are you having a good day? So, so, kind of. Did you get wet? Alguien se ha mojado el día de ahora, guys? Did you get wet today? At the morning, teacher. In yes. the morning, oh, okay. What about night? So, Gabby, no, it's, is that a shower or that's the rain? No puede, no yeah, I'm sorry. It's a good shower. Uh, okay, I was like, wow, she got wet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what happened to Araceli, uh, Mr. Medremo? Is she having problems with the platform? Give me a second. Oh, super weird. Okay, un mensaje ella que está tiene problemas para entrar. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so thank you guys. Yeah, to be honest, I don't know what's going on with Zoom today because it's giving us a couple of issues, but yeah, I'm texting her right now, so. Yeah, hopefully it's gonna uh it's gonna get solved. Teacher, oh, uh, my messages. I mm -hmm. don't know if uh, anyone tries to, but uh, what I try is uh, the not enter with the link. Uh, enter with the passcode and the oh and the code yeah, and the code because in the link, uh, I I couldn't get in and. With the card and the password, uh, I could. Okay, thank you so much for that. Um, I'm going to ask about it. Cause, cause yeah, normally with the link, you know, the thing is that normally I have my, um, I have my, my what? 
So normally what I do is I open Zoom in my computer and ya no lo cierro. I don't really close it. So my, my station is open all the time. So probably that's why. Tell me good evening. Great to see you. Thanks a lot for joining. Uh, Mr. Avendaño, Carlos, how are you doing? Why is the problem? Uh, yo, um, uh, project the uh, uh, plata, plataforma. Well, uh, I think the problem is not in the platform, but in Zoom itself, you know. So, but maybe from the cell phone, you can give it a try. Um, oh, give me one sec. Uh, give me oh, one company. sec. Company, uh, Hydra. Luis, Luis, oh, <laughs> So our guy from support was here, but he left. Okay, so let me text this guy. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Give me one sec. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Judy. Great to have you. Uh, Judy. Good evening. To, hi, good evening. Two difficulties and randomness. Do you have issues? Sí, no podía ingresar, no sé por qué. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Super, super weird. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to ask the guys if they know or probably Zoom is having some difficulties. But the good thing, guys, is uh, that I have um, a couple of you here. Hopefully, the rest are going to be joining us in a couple of minutes, too. Um, so uh, to give them some time as well, I have, we are going to practice a couple of things. We are going to have some uh, pronunciation practice, uh, vocabulary practice, and then we're going to have some sort of presentations, right? Um, so the first activity, guys, that I brought to you today is a little bit of tongue twister. Have you ever done a tongue twister? Do you know what a tongue twister is? No, teacher, what is that? No, well, okay. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know if you are familiar with tongue twisters in Spanish. In English, tongue twisters are super good for pronunciation because we don't have a couple of sounds. The objective of a tongue twister is to say this fast, super, super fast, okay? Um, I have this one here. It's super easy. I think. <laughs> so I believe it is quite easy. We are going to repeat it slowly and then we're going to try to repeat it fast. So the fastest you can. All right. Um, so let's get it started and let's see how it goes. Um, so let me read it and then we practice together. It says Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. A little bit faster. Il gole. Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she, she, uh, where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. So the, the idea here is not to open your mouth that much, and we can connect a couple of sounds. So read with me, please. Let's read it together, guys. Uh, we are going to work, we are going to go like um, in chunks, in pieces. So let's go up to A. Uh, Susie works in a. Repeat with me. Susie works in a. Susie works in. Okay. Don't don't stop it. Don't don't cut the sounds. Susie works in a. Can you say Susie it, guys? You can open your microphone. No problem. That's all right. So Susie works in a. Susie, Susie works in a. Two words. Yeah. Shoe shine shop. Shoe shine shop. Shoe shine shop. Shoe shine shop. One more time. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Shoe shine. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Okay, one more time. Susie works in a shushan shop. Susie works in a shushan shop. Susie works on work on shop. Wait, no, it's more. Hold on, hold on. Remember, this is a word, so we have to like put the sounds together. 
Susie works in a. Susie works in a. Mr. Menedemo, let's do it. Susie works in a. Susie works in a. Susie works in a. Works in a. Or like here. In, in a. a. In here. a. In a. In a. In a. In a. Susie works in a. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now the whole thing. Susie works in a shusha shop. Tall white. Lucy works. Uh, she, she needs. <laughs> she needs. Okay. Uh, Mr. Minedemo. Mr. Minedemo, listen to me. Listen Diga. to me. Diga. Susie works Diga. in a. Which is nice. Oh, oh, here. Susie works in a. Which is white in a. Shoe shine shop. Shoe shine shop. Oh, okay, okay. You are getting close to that. Okay, guys, let's go with the second part. Where she shines. Where she shines. Where she shines. She sits. Where she shines. She Where she shines. She's she in where. Okay, now where wait, she a she she wait a second. Wait a second there. Because this shines. word. No, no, no. <laughs> shines. Shines. This word is quite complicated. Because it's sits, sits, right? One more time. Where she and shines, she sits. When she shines, and she sits. Where she shines, she sits. Okay. When she shines, and she sits. Very when close. When she shines, she sits. And sits. well, a shy. A she is shy, she not. Shine. Um, oh, no, no, no. This is shines. Where she shine. shines, she sits. When she shines, and she where she shines, where she shine, she sits. She just sits. She. She. Okay. She, okay. She. Let, let's do something. Let's do something. Cierre los ojos. Close your eyes. Y repita lo que escucha. <laughs> uh, yeah. Close your eyes. No, no, no. Just close your eyes. Where? Where? Cierre los ojos. Close your eyes. <laughs> she shines. <laughs> she shines. She sits. Cheers, cheers. Seats. Cheers. Seats. And where? Cheers. Okay, she one cheers. more time. No lo lea, don't read it. Just listen and repeat it. So, she sits. She sits. Seats. She. There you go. There you go. So, English, you know, the thing with English is no lo leemos como español. We don't really read it as Spanish. So, lo escuchamos e intentamos inter decir lo mismo que escuchamos, right? There we go. Yes. Let's go with the last part, guys. And where she sits. And where she sits. Seats. Sí. No, porque la otra es una mala palabra. <laughs> and where Ay, she perdón. sits. Where and where she sits. Where she sits. Where she sits. Seat. Seat. She sits. Yes. Okay, and where she sits, she shines. She shines. There you what go. What did she? She shines. Okay, that's very close. Only this word, right? She sits. Yes, it's miss. Your word. Uh, you can use uh, the C like in the Spanish. Uh, like the C. What do you mean? O sea, o sea, que él puede utilizar la palabra C. Para guiarse que no es she, sino que es sit. Oh, o sea, okay. la palabra sí, ajá, le puede ayudar pensando en that's sí. That's a really good one. That's a really good one. Uh, so, Mr. Nidemo, <laughs> diga sí. Sí. ¿Cómo dice usted sí? Sí, sí. Ok. Ahora, agregale una T. Sit. Sit. There you go. Sit. There you go. That's the word. Okay, sí. thank you. Thank you, Belen, for that. I haven't thought right. about asking for that. All right. Thank you, Belen. Super thank nice. You. Okay, guys. Thank so you, Belen. I'm going to give you guys, I'll give you one minute. Les voy a dar un minuto. I'm going to give you one minute para que lo puedan practicar. Les voy a cerrar los micrófonos. I'm going to close your microphones uh, so you can practice. But my recommendation, guys, is... Siempre que practicamos algo, no lo practiquen en su cabeza. No sé si han visto el meme, el inglés de mi cabeza, el inglés que hablo. And it's because it's real, you know. So, siempre que practiquen, repítanlo en voz alta. Escúchense, monitor yourself. So, no, no lo intenten decir en su mente, but say it, you know. Uh, let me read it one more time. Susie works in a shushan shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. 
and that's it. So guys, tienen un minuto. You got a minute to practice this. Dale lo despacio, say it slowly, practice this slowly, and then we're going to have some volunteers. So go. Let me see. Araceli ya está por acá. No. Sí. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. Judy. Okay, well, nice, nice. Ahorita le estaba escribiendo mis. Perdón, okay, perdón, I'm glad. Perdón. Yo pensé I'm glad que no estaba. Uh, so we are practicing uh, this tongue twister. It's only pronunciation. So uh, the guys are um, quiet right now because it's not practicando, right? So they are practicing this right now. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Uh, tell me, Mr. Menadango. The cheese squares and sharp chini are sharp. Where cheese chini chini chines uh, chai cheat and where cheese chi uh, chini chines. Como le dijo el vez anterior, right? The C. Chi. Uh, sí. uh, no, no, that, that's a bad word. <laughs> that's sí. a bad word. So sí. it's like see, sí. uh -huh. seats, sí, exactly. Seat. Sí. Sí. Okay. Church China. All right. So we're going to listen, guys. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Benedemo. So we're going to listen to a couple of you guys. I don't know if you are ready for this. Let's give it a try. Uh, we are ready. Thank you, Belen. So we are ready to listen to Mr. Be uh, Menademo. Then I see Belen. I see Imelda. Amazing girls. All right. So Belen, let's go with you. L do it like slowly and then we can, you know, try to say it a little faster. Empiece, Belen. Empiece, Belen. Okay. Um, Susie works in a shoe. Sorry. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. Very nice. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Let me give you an emoji. Guys, give emojis. <laughs> so you can give emojis there. Imelda, let's go with you. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. Very good. That sounds really nice. Okay, so see, it's very good. Mercedes, yes, Mercedes. Mercedes, are you in your house? Yes, teacher. Oh, wow, that's good. Okay, cool. Se le, se le envía. <laughs> yes, yes, I saw the homework. Pero pensé que estaba trabajando. I thought you were yeah. at work. Okay, great, uh -huh. great. Let's do it. Vamos, Mercedes, let's do it. Susie wore in a shoe shine shot. Where she shines, she sits. 
and where she sits, she shines. Yes, very good. That sounds super, super nice. Yes, Judy. Uh, Araceli, Araceli or Judy, I'm sorry. Oh, um, cualquiera. Okay, um, okay. Cualquiera de los. Any, okay, perfect. Let's do it. Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where and where she sits, she shines. Perfect. There you got it. Okay, guys, I need one more person who says I can do it fast. Alguien que crea o que considere que quiere intentar hacerlo like fast, super, super fast. Lo más rápido que puedan, the fastest you can. Oh, Belen, all right, cool. I like it. So let's do it, Belen. Okay. Uh, no worries, no worries. Solo inténtalo, just give it a try. So I Muy bien. Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. That's a really good one. Okay. Okay. Sounds really nice. Okay, guys. So your homework, guys, for tomorrow is this. So say one child or something chai a child which is chai a chai is very judge chai a chan. Uh, she shines, shines. All right. So, guys, your homework for tomorrow is going to be memorizarse esto. We're going to memorize this. Okay. Y vamos a intentar decirlo tan rápido como podamos, de tal manera que se comprenda what we're trying to say. Como cuando se dice Pablito clavó un clavito, right? So, Pablito clavó un clavito, un clavito clavó Pablito. So, pretty much the same thing. Because it is just pronunciation. So, mañana vamos a escuchar a Mr. Menedemo primero. We're going to listen to him first. Um, eso es en YouTube. So, you can go to YouTube. Pueden escuchar la pronunciación. Then repeat it, you know. Para que también uh, you listen to different pronunciation. So, le pueden tomar captura. You can take a screenshot of this or a picture. Whatever works for you. And we practice this tomorrow. So, um, part of the things that we are going to be working today is on creating kind of a new product. So, before getting started, I'm sorry guys, acaba de venir la lluvia super fuerte here. Si no me escuchan, uh, si se escucha muy, muy fuerte la lluvia, me avisan para moverme al lugar or, or cerrar la puerta or do something. So, um, talking a little, yeah. yes. A la tele y otra compañera tienen problemas para entrar y le han mandado un mensaje. Um, well, Araceli ya está por acá, so Araceli is here. But no sé si alguien más todavía. No, uh, creería que ya entraron. I think that they are in already. Francisco ya estaba acá y Andrea también. Okay, okay. But thank you. Thank you so much for that. All right, guys. So I have a couple of questions that I want to discuss with you. I want to listen to your um, answer, of course. So the questions we have are, can you eat anything? All right, like talking about the things you can eat. Are you allergic? Um, are you into eating whatever, you know? Can you go without food for a whole day? Like you don't eat breakfast, you don't eat lunch, you don't eat dinner. Is that normal for you? Is that okay for you? Do you have to watch what you eat? I mean, some people, for example, if you have high sugar or a high uh, cholesterol or something, you have to watch. You have to pay attention to the things you eat, right? And the last one, what is your favorite breakfast, lunch and dinner? So let me just listen to a couple of your answers, especially the people I couldn't listen to before. Uh, Iris, great to see you, Iris. So uh, let me start with you. Um, Iris, can you eat anything? So Iris, puede comer lo que sea. Iris, can you eat anything? Yes, I can. Uh, so you're not allergic to any food, any drink, nothing? Carbohydrate. Oh, you're allergic. Okay. So what do you normally avoid? What do you avoid? Um, Tortillas, bread. Fruit and vegetable okay so you don't eat vegetables 
vegetable. You don't eat vegetables? No, yes, I yes, I eat. eat yes. Oh, okay. You eat vegetables? Okay. Uh, so what is something that you avoid? What do you avoid? What do you avoid? So que evita, right? What is something that you avoid? Okay. Carbohydratos. Okay, just carbohydrates. And sugar, yes. Oh, no. Oh, you like exercise. You said yesterday. <laughs> yes. Oh, wait. You didn't eat uh, junk food, right? So uh -huh. the hamburgers, I don't the like. pizza. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. But nothing? No tortilla, no bread, no cookies, nothing? Sometimes. Uh, how often? How often Excuse did you me. eat that? Yeah. It's more be but uh, healthy. I have uh, hypoglycemia. Oh, okay. So that means um, your wait. What does it mean? <laughs> your sugar uh, or your your blood uh, needs more nutrients. Hipor or hiper. I'm like, I'm like confused right now. <laughs> so hipo, hipo means that you need sugar, right? No. Lechon or yes, pan. Uh -huh. Yes, sugar and carbohydrates. Okay. Lechon or pan. Pan. Lechon and pan. Do you mean like lettuce? Like, um, um, like. Uh, what oh can they carbohydrates? Oh, lechuga. So let us. Uh, no, uh -oh. I will not. I will not. Okay. Chul the ban. What do you? Can, can you do me a favor? Can you write it in the chat, please? Let me take a look at that. I'm not uh, quite sure if you can. Kailatro. 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 Okay, uh, write it in the chat. Let me take a look, please. So, um, Iris, that means that you cannot, you cannot eat sugar at all, o si las puede comer, or you can eat sugars. So, to, sugar, no, are not, no, uh, porque... I shouldn't, because, I shouldn't. Uh, how do you say, se me baja el azúcar? Oh, so your sugar level drop. Yeah. Oh, so sugar level drops. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So you have to be careful with the food. Oh, this question goes for you. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. That is really interesting. Um, Delmi, what about you, Miss? Um, can you go without food for a whole day? Is it possible that you don't eat anything for one day? Eat. It's possible, but I don't, I, I can, I cannot. It is possible, but that is not a good idea, right? <laughs> okay, okay, sounds good. Normally, or some people, guys, in the chat, I wrote the word fast. Normally. Yes, fast. Normally. Normally. Is the word that we use for ayuno, right? So, algunas, if you are religious, for example, in algunas iglesias se hace esta um, actividad religiosa, right? That is fast. So, people what, fast. Once desayuno. Mm, that would be breakfast. En ayuno, ayuno hacen. Oh, pero fast. Ayuno, ayuno. That is fast, but, but fast not in the sense of the desayuno, right? But in the sense of yeah. religious practice. All right. Um, so, Francisco, I didn't have the opportunity to listen to you yesterday. Um, so, let's go with question four. What is your favorite breakfast? Uh, what do you normally like to eat for breakfast, Francisco? Mm, my favorite breakfast... Um, Beans and cheese. Oh, okay. Beans, cheese, tortilla, or bread. What do you prefer? Um, for dinner. Okay, but for breakfast, do you prefer tortillas or do you prefer uh, bread? Bread. Okay, so bread for breakfast. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, Mr. Well, Carlos, Carlos Mario, right? 
So, Carlos, uh, what do you prefer for lunch? What is something that you normally eat for lunch? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, a little bit. You sound a little far away, but yeah. I get to use the speaker because the sound on the computer is too low. Oh. And, okay. okay. Hello? Yes, I think we can listen to you. That, that okay. sounds good. Well, because of my work, I gotta eat what I found in, in uh -huh. the way I work in. Then I prefer soup, uh, okay. chicken, uh, fish. Oh. It depends on, on the place where I've been. Okay, so pretty much is whatever is at hand, whatever is available, you just go and get it. But if there is a soup, I choose soup. Soup, okay. Soup. Is a maruchan an option for you? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, because normally in a gas station you can get a maruchan too. Maybe sometime for dinner when I don't want to eat too much. Oh, okay, okay. So, but that is in the list as well. So that is something as of the one. Already sounds really interesting, guys. Okay, okay. What about sandwiches, people? Are you into sandwiches? Do you like sandwiches for breakfast or for lunch? Sometimes uh, it's always. Oh, okay. That's always. All right. What about like a, like a normal, simple sandwich just with bread, cheese? Are you into sandwiches? Or if you have right. babies? In my, car, in my case, yes. Tortish. Tortish. Break. I, I, <laughs> I, I'm burger. Oh, a burger. Okay, so you're into burgers, and Carlos says for breakfast, that would be okay. So a sandwich sounds good. All right, what about the rest of you guys? Margarita, good evening. Great to have you. Thanks a lot for joining. Okay, I also think I'm missing somebody. Jose Antonio, hi. Great to have you. Um, I think teacher. I'm missing somebody else. Yes, tell me. No pasado listo, teacher. No, not yet, not yet. I'm going to go over attendance at 8.40. All right, guys. So let's take a look at this one. I'm asking you about food because one of the activities that we will do right now or we will do today, sorry about this, is the following. We are going to go into sandwiches, all right? So we are going to create like a new kind of sandwich. It says here, create a new sandwich, this is an example only, but you can put all the ingredients you want, as much as you want. That sounds all right. Um, FN, you get to answer part of the following questions. Question number one, who will buy the sandwich? Uh, parents, kids, workers, uh, so who, you know? For example, um, my niece and my nephew, they love sandwiches, but just with jam. So they would put jam in a sandwich and that's it, you know? So that sandwich would be for kindergarten probably or for kids in the school, right? Uh, what about you guys? So what do you normally put in a sandwich? Maybe lettuce, maybe some slices of tomato, right? Maybe some slices of American yeah. cheese probably, maybe some ham. I don't know if you toast Delius. it. Delius. I don't, Delicious. 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 I don't know Delicious. if you would put some mayo or ketchup. I don't know. So the idea is to Nairo. make. Nairo ketchup. You don't like ketchup. A new kind of sandwich. Then what is the price? So if you are to sell this sandwich, what is the price? 50 cents, 75 cents, a dollar. It's up to you, right? Um, how will you let people know about the product and convince them to buy them? So imagine that you say, oh, I want to start a business. I want to have my own cafeteria. I will start with a sandwich. How coffee. are you going to coffee. let people know? Coffee. Maybe that can be an idea. So in, have coffee for free, probably, right? So free coffee if you get the sandwich. I don't know. So you think Yo, about it. Forward. And, and then you are going to present the product or you're going to present the sandwich idea to the class, all right? Or Angel, or Angel. Teacher. Yes. 
este, será que mejor se, eh, pone el silencio a los micrófonos, digo, para cuando nos está explicando, ¿verdad? Para que no haya interrupciones. Uh, yeah, actually that sounds like a good idea. However, um, normally I let microphones open in case quieren agregar algo, but I'm going to take that into account. Thank you so much. So, um, sí, guys. la verdad es que cuesta un poco entenderle, teacher. Yo igual no, no las instrucciones no, no lo entendí muy bien porque había alguien más hablando al mismo tiempo. Okay. Okay, got it. So let me go over this part. Thank you so much. I'm going to take that into consideration in that case. So uh, one more time, guys. Um, in groups, we are going to create, we are going to make a sandwich. You decide the product. You decide the ingredients. Um, so you decide what to put into each of them. And then we have to answer one, two, three, four questions. Who will buy the sandwich? Like children, parents, I don't know, uh, workers in the school, in the cafeteria of your company. So who is going to buy maybe the sandwich? What are the ingredients, of course? Yeah, if you put lettuce, if you put, if you put ketchup, if you put mustard. So what are the ingredients? What is the price? The price is up to you, $1, $2, $3. You decide depending on the ingredients, right? And uh, who, how will it, um, how are you going to let people know that you're selling sandwiches? Uh, will you post it in Facebook? Hey friends, I'm selling sandwiches. Uh, will you call your family? Hey, I'm going to sell sandwiches. Um, can you tell more people, right? Or so how, right? And uh, when you have all this information, you don't need guys to add to, um, this is very important. This is intermediate. So guys, um, lo que he visto algunas veces en intermediate is that normalmente escribimos todas las respuestas, that normally you, we write the, the answers um, o compartimos un documento and we write everything. Intentemos no hacerlo, let's try not to do it. You have the questions here, discutanlas, discuss it, todo, todo lo que podamos en inglés, as much as possible in English, of course. Uh, you can make a list of the ingredients, that sounds good, but al momento de presentarlo, no vamos a leerlo. We're not going to read it, right? Solo intentemos recordarnos what you discussed, y va a ser la presentación como de este sandwich. So, like, good evening, everyone. This is my new product. The name of the sandwich is Salvadorian Love. I don't know. Uh, this is a very cheap sandwich. It is only 50 cents. Um, and it has very common ingredients um, like lettuce. Um, it has a little bit of tomato. It has some slices of cheese and it has a little bit of ham. Um, this is toasted. So you can um, give this sandwich to your baby. Uh, we cut this into parts. So if you have two children or two babies, you can divide them, you can split them, you can share with your family, um, and it is not very expensive. And that's it. So like a super, super short presentation, uh, including all the questions. Is that okay, guys? Is that good? Is that clear? Yes, questions, doubts, tell me, yes, Imelda. Uh, teacher, can you, rep uh, can you repeat the word lechuga in absolutely, English? Absolutely, yes. Thank you so much for asking about it. So the word is written this way, but we pronounce it le rus, like this. So we pronounce it letters. Guys, uh, repeat with me, letters. Letters. Yes, there we go. So letters. Any other word that you want to check? Uh, Andrea, I saw your hand up, I think. Yes, question, chair. Yes. I, a sandwich for group? Yes, only one. Only one sandwich for group. Exactly. Okay. Because the idea is, ¿alguna vez han visto Shark Tank? The best program 
And yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, guys, les recomiendo que vean Shark Tank. <laughs> so, para los... In English. In English. In English. Yes. Well, in Spanish is okay, but in English it's just beautiful. Si alguna vez quieren, quieren empezar su negocio, Shark Tank is the perfect you know, place to go and get references. So, that's okay. Vamos a presentarla. Convince me, you know, you need to convince me to buy your sandwich. Okay, guys, we have 10 minutes. All right, so 10 minutes, go. Speak English, please. As much as possible, speak English, and then we come and you present this to the class. Let's go, let's go. 10 minutes, guys. We'll be back at 8.55. Maria. Yes. Your sandwich have any dressing or something? Uh, um, sandwich for me is I love a uh, sandwich with meat. Meat. Uh, one one time I I try a sandwich with a uh, alambre. I don't know. Is I have a, a traduction. I don't. I don't think so. Is I'm it's um, not sure. <laughs> what do I, you mean by alambre? Alambre is meat with cheese. Meat with, with cheese. cheese and jalapenos. Alambre. Alambre. That, that is like Mexican, right? Yes. Okay, this I think I've heard it. Yes. Um, alambre. It's, it just is. I try to uh, make a dinner with. Uh, that ingredient 
and and some sauces with also uh, oh, you like cooking yes i like cooking mm, it's a lumber that is no translation it's not so, translation right? no only mexican alambre you can say oh okay okay <laughs> But like, a sandwich with a, a lambre. Sandwich with a lambre. Yes. <laughs> with, uh, how do you say, wow. uh, pan, pan, pan flauta? I don't know. Uh, um, uh, flauta, flauta. Like, like a sort of croissant? Something like that. Okay. A baguette, you can say. A baguette. A baguette. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. And a baguette. And a baguette with uh, butter and garlic. Yeah, we're hungry now <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's it's um, with uh como se dice acompañamiento I... you can just say with with is with, okay with with chips potato oh. chips oh okay yeah. wow yes that... I, I i i like uh fun because uh como voy a I, uh, junk food. Junk food, and I, I don't have to eat it, but <laughs> I like it. <laughs> but it's so difficult. Wow, but but I love that. I love that <laughs> idea. I'm like, oh my God, I need to try to make this sandwich with the lambre, you know? Sounds really cool. Guys, what is the best sandwich you have ever eaten? Have you ever eaten something, I don't know, like super delicious? Can you let us share a screen? Guys, just one quick question. Pueden compartir pantalla. Can you share a screen? Puede alguien intentar compartirle solo? Oh, yes. Yeah, you can. Can you see? Okay. Yeah, yeah. lo que pasa es que los compañeros no pueden. Work. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to check uh, what's going on with these guys. Okay, um, guys, uh, remember also to double check the questions that we have, right? So this sandwich with the lambre, is this going to be for parents, for workers in a cafeteria, for children, right? So who do you think is going to buy this sandwich? I'll see you in five minutes. Hello there, guys. Uh, can you can you share your screen? Can you give it a try? Because I was in the other group and they were able to share their screen. Teacher, yeah. Teacher, nos puede pasar el, el cuadrito, por por please. Uh, what do you mean? Ya estuvo, Ah, ya estuvo. Se puede compartir. Yeah, right. Okay. 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 Thank you for that. Sí, por favor. No lo puedo compartir, no sé si alguien más puede. Sí. No puede usted, vaya. ¿Podrá usted, don Carlos? Yo se me voy a intentar ahora. Sí.
sería two dollars. Accompanying, no sé, acompañado con it with un jugo, pues estaría muy barato. Solo el pan, digo yo. Solo el pan. Pero como ahí dice que vamos a hacer para convencer que nos compren el sándwich. En combo. Ajá. Podríamos ponerlo ahí a modo de que sea un poco más innovador. Ese sería como el valor agregado, un, una leche o un jugo. Jugo quizás sería con un jugo, sí, un jugo quizá. Un jugo. Bien comprado. Ay, no. Ah, pensé que nos estaba sacando. Hello, teacher. Vaya, entonces, jugo. La primera es para quienes está dirigido el sándwich. For parents, kids, or workers. Ok, la respuesta sería, creo que, for everyone. Maybe, eh, could be more for workers. O sea, podría ser como algo así en, de que como que se vende para las personas que están trabajando, o sea, que van pasando y necesitan comprar algo. Everyone could buy it. But it is more for workers. No sé qué les parece esa respuesta. It's okay. Okay. ¿Alguien quiere agregar algo más a esa pregunta? Si en algo me estoy equivocando, me dicen. Porque a veces se me van algunas, me como algunas letras. Esa es la segunda. What are the ingredients? Pensemos, ¿cuál es el ingrediente favorito de Helen en un sándwich? Por Dios, dígame que sí le gustan los sándwiches, porque si no estamos perdidos. <risa> el principal es el pan, bread. ¿Qué tipo de pan? ¿Cuál es su pan favorito? Si estamos hablando que está hecho en casa, tendría que ser un tradicional. El de, pan, el de caja. ¿Pero cuál? A ver, porque vaya, yo le voy a decir algo. Yo Gracias. puedo comprar monarca, pero mi favorito toda la vida va a ser un pan de mantequilla que solo venden un gigante enorme y creo que solo en Walmart lo venden. Entonces, ese es mi favorito. A Igual. muchos podemos comprar el mismo, el, pero a todos les gusta el artesano, quizás. No sé qué. Ajá, entonces, ¿cuál es como su pan favorito? Vamos a poner las cosas favoritas que tenemos como los ingredientes. Recuerden, piensen en lo que les hacían a ustedes, qué es lo que les gustaba. Algo que no podía faltar en ese sándwich que lo hacía especial. Y ustedes sabían que, ajá, no quedaba bien. Tenemos cinco minutos. Helen, su pan, dígame. Uh, bread bimbo. ¿Integral o normal? Integral. Integral. No sé cómo se escribe integral. Si alguien lo puede buscar y me dice, porque de sí sé que se escribe. Sí. Integral ¿Sí? bread. Vamos a tener de los dos. Por cualquier cosa. Vaya, de ahí tenemos. Eso crema. Muy bien, Helen. Ah, no, Denny, perdón. Yes. Ah, ah, se llama en inglés. Dígamelo en inglés, no me lo digan en español. ¿Quién escribió? Yes. French. French. ¿Qué es? Ah, pan integral, whole meal bread. Ah, ok, gracias, Rafael. Merené, no sé si así se dice escabeche. 
Eh, ¿Cómo? Perdón. Miren, ey, escabeche, no sé si así se dice. No, no estoy segura. Esperen, esperen. Si sí, alguien lo puede escribir para irlo copiando y pegando. Please, please. Bueno, eh, Delvin me dijo que su crema. Pero con. Green cheese. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Que alguien me dijo. ¿Cómo? Green cheese. Green cheese. Green cheese. No sería. Ah, deep, deep cheese. Ok. Luego, lettuce. Bueno, sería como vegetal. Es que no, tomate no es vegetal. No es vegetal. Uh, lettuce, tomato, cucumber. Cucumber. Exacto. ¿Alguien, ¿Alguien que no le pudiera faltar algo de vegetales? ¿Quién le echaba algo así extraordinario? Churros, algo, no sé. No, o solo el principal, el tomate, el pepino. Onion. Voy a intentar eso. Eso nunca lo he intentado. Onion, ¿qué más? La ketchup no puede faltar. Por churritos. I'm like, I said with, with churritos, that's new to me. Yes, teacher. Churritos. Uh, well, it's, it's only in Solway, yes, but you can try it in home too. Like, you put the churritos into the sandwich. Chips, like chips. With lace. With lace. With chips, potato chips. Oh, potato. But, but you don't mean inside the sandwich. Yes. Yes, inside, teacher. <laughs> okay. It's I have to do that. I have to do that. <laughs> All right. It's crunchy. I'm learning a lot today. So I heard <laughs> a, a lot of recipes around. Okay. 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 Entonces la vamos a poner aquí con el deep cheese. Le vamos a poner like snacks. How do you say mostaza? Mm. Mostard. Uh, uh, this is quiero ver. Mostard. Quiero ver. Mostard. Okay. Yo le puedo decir a mí me encanta el aderezo ranch. Alguien que le guste los aderezos en los sándwiches. Yes. No, ¿Cuál es? Dice acerca de la no. pepinesa. Pepinesa. Dice pepinesa. I don't know. Teacher, it's not a traduction for pepinesa. Not exactly for that one, but they are generally called dressings. So, like all these uh, ranch, then uh, they are all called dressings. Oil dresses. Uh, it's in the chat. I write it in the chat. They are dressings. But let me let me let me investigate a little bit more. Mm -hmm. ah, they are avocado. Avocado. Ah, okay, se lo voy a poner acá. Me corrigen si no lo estoy escribiendo bien. Que voy a voy en modo faster. Vaya. Um, Snack, the cheese, snacks, lettuce, tomate, cucumber, onion, avocado, ketchup, mayo, mustard, ranch, dressing. Ay, yeah. Dios mío. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se llama? El queso. Queso amarillo. Sí. Yeah. American cheese. American cheese. Vaya, ¿Algo más o lo dejo hasta ahí? Ya. Y lo que dijo compa la compañera, ¿Bien? el escabeche. Ah, el escabeche. Ahí se lo envía el chat. Gracias. Bueno. Espérate. No lo veo. Ah, espérame. Sería como chivo tener todos los, todos los ingredientes y que cada quien pudiera, que el cliente Marina. escogiera las opciones. Exacto. Por eso estamos poniendo así, poner así como por secciones. Vaya, la otra pregunta. Es, what is the price? No falta la, la carne o oh, jamón. Dios mío, lo más Como importante, qué barbaridad. Vegetariano, 
No, no me digan eso. Vamos de pavo. Chicken pasta. Chicken pasta. Uh -huh. Pero después del pepino, eh, le, le ponemos la otra capa de pan, ¿cierto? Sí. Así sí. es. Sale, sale, excelente. Eche. Qué ver. Next. Pues, eh, la lettuce. El queso, queso rallado. Queso crap. No, eh, le, le, lettuce o lettuce. Lettuce. Uh -huh. Lettuce y, en, y, en, y en, 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 encima de la pasta de pollo. Chicken yeah. pasta. Chicken past. Finish. <laughs> Finish. Are you good? Are you done, guys? Por lo menos los ingredientes ya los tenemos. Okay. Well, I think that if you already got the ingredients, uh, the rest, you don't need to write it. So the idea is not to write anything. Um, so if you have already thought about the ingredients, who do you think is going to buy your sandwich? Is this for children? Or is this for people who work in companies? How much is this sandwich? Okay. Oh, uh, parents. Parents? Mm, that's a good one. So parents to give it to children. <laughs> so how much? Because part of the formula will be like the sandwich uh, of birthday. Ah, for celebrations. Uh, uh -huh. For you. Okay. Yeah, actually, that sounds like a very good idea. Okay. So, Tomat okay. Tom tomatoes, jamón. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I, I think we have like two more minutes. So, think about the other questions. Um, yes, what is the crap. price and how will you let people know about this product? Are you going to use Facebook? Are you going to go mouth to mouth? Uh, are you going to sell them in the street? So what is going to be the idea, right? And, uh, and then we'll go back to the group. So guys, I'll see you in one moment.
guys. Uh, how was your practice? Wait, were you able to finish the sandwich? Did you get the sandwich done? Did you get the ingredients? Did you answer all the questions? Maybe, so, so, a little bit. Okay, 17. I'm missing two more people. Give me one moment. Let me just, okay. Okay, guys, I think I got everybody. Yeah, I got everybody here. All right, so listen up. Uh, I'm going to select one person per group. So you can tell us about your sandwich <laughs> idea. You can present this. Remember the idea was no uh, leerlo, right? We were not gonna read it, but just talk about the sandwich you created, the ingredients you made, etc. So, um, Enrique, uh, give me one number from one to five, please. Mm, four. Four, okay. So in group number one, um, it is going to be Maria Gabriela who will present. In group number two, I will have Iris Cañas. In group number three, we will have Kenya Ruiz. In group number four, we are going to have Judy uh, presenting. Okay, guys, so um, group number one, are you ready? So group number one is Gabriela. Are you ready, Gabriela? Uh, so yeah. oh. uh, good evening, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> I'd rather... <laughs> okay. well, um, I rather Gabby. So uh, for everyone, oh, Gabby. Uh, okay. Yes. Um, we create a sandwich for our workers. I we thought uh, probably in a lumber sandwich. What that it contains a uh, um, beef meal, uh, beef, also jalapenos, cheese, and could be baguette also. Mm -hmm. uh, the price of this sandwich will be $4, um, just in promotion, but normally will be $4.50 uh, with chips and soda. Oh. But for the for lunch, the sandwich, I think, para lanzar el, el sandwich. To lunch, yes. To lunch the sandwich will be the promotion that we will sell the sandwich to four dollars or in four dollars but we will add chips and soda but oh. after just for a week after that usually will be the, the combo for four dollars and fifty and we wow. thought just that well uh, I, I i think that sounds amazing now the question is um what are you going to do to sell the product um, oh, will be a uh, like big promotion by social media, like okay. posting the the that will be the promotion just for a week, and you can buy it in four dollars, and you will get the chips and soda, and after that you will pay fifty uh, fifty cents more to get the soda and chips. Oh, that sounds amazing! I really love the ingredients. So baguette, um, meat, beef, you said. Uh, jalapenos. I think that the ingredients are not very common. I love jalapenos, you know, so that, that is a, like a very nice uh, proposal. Thank you. Group number one, that was amazing. That was super good. Um, wait a second, because we are going to do a poll after we finish with this. Okay, uh, let's go with group number two. So in group number two, we have uh, Iris, so Iris, tell us a little bit about your group sandwich, please. Okay, teacher, I <laughs> I remember. Um, we um, we will buy the sandwich sandwich for the kids. What are the ingredients? Mm -hmm. And extract by region, bread, cheese, and ham. Mm -hmm. Uh, the price is of the ready to go box is $215. Oh. And how will you let people? It will be announced and read in social media okay. networks and as uh, added had a uh, natural juice oh. uh, will be given away. 
Oh, okay. So this is going to be 250, you said. The sandwich is 250, the, the ready to go box, and you include yes. a natural juice. Yes. In different flavors? Uh, orange. Oh, okay. So orange juice. Wow, 250. All right. I, I love the price. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Um, so, um, I I think I didn't catch like a couple of ingredients. Uh, what is what are going to be like the ma the main ingredients in your in your uh, sandwich? In strawberry jam, bread, cheese, and ham. Okay, so you're putting a little bit of uh, just to make it clear, are you putting a little bit of ham or a little bit of jam? Jam is, is with topic. Uh, so the second word that is in the chat, um, these words are a little confusing. So the first is ham, right? Like, um, like jamón. And the second word is jam, like mermelada, like mermelade. Between, yeah, between ham and uh, strawberry jam. <laughs> It's como with a, a topic. Uh -huh. like separado. A, uh -huh. a little bit yes. of topping there? Yeah. Okay. I'm asking because I'm like, wait. <laughs> so you're going to put a ham and jam? Okay. Es una receta de una compañera. Are you serious? <laughs> is this good? Yeah, it sounds weird, but it is delicious. <laughs> And you melt them like what? <laughs> this is can you use uh, they have a, a, a name is Monte Cristo yes, sandwich, Monte right? Monte Cristo yes. sandwich. Oh yes. my god, are you sure I will not get diarrhea or the stomach? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> and delicious. <laughs> wow. Yes. Yeah, I'm like, I have never heard about that recipe, but it sounds exotic, you know, and super uh, you can you can taste it uh -huh. at um, Benigans. Benigans? Benigans, yeah. Oh, that's why. It's the main course of Benigans. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that yes, Benigans is like has... a, a product star at oh. Benigans. Oh, super cool. All right. Okay, I'm going to trust Imelda on that. <laughs> I'm going to trust her on this recipe. Thank you. Okay, so group number one was uh, four dollars, uh, like because they are launching the product, um, and they have a sort of baguette with beef. Group number two, this is uh, Monte Cristo sandwich you mentioned with a little bit of ham, a little bit of jam, two dollars fifty, and orange juice. Let's go with group number three. So that is going to be for Kenya. Tell us a little bit about your sandwich, Kenya. Teacher, I'm going to share my screen. Oh, all right. Let me stop presenting here. Uh, there you go. Okay. Okay. Good luck, Kenya. Our sandwich, our sandwich is a homemade sandwich. And our sandwich is for everyone who buy but more is for workers. How, how is the, I don't know, how do you say it? The method? <laughs> Way, technique, or method? The technique, mm -hmm. the technique here that we have five options and you can select whatever you want. For example, we have wool as the bread, whole meal, and white bread. And in the second, we have cheese, dip of cheese, snacks, American cheese, marinade, and that is like aderezos. And in the vegetables, we have lettuce, tomato, cucumber, onion, avocado. And we have, we can pay ketchup, my mustard, ranch. It's dependent whatever you want add. 
and we can add jam. We have Virginia, Turkey, chicken, patties, patties, and meat. What is the price? It depends what you select. Is it could be things fifty cents to two point fifty dollars. Oh, okay. And you can write us by WhatsApp or okay. you can find us in our social media. Okay. We have Instagram, Facebook. Yes. And we have an extra point that we can offer you a coffee or juice or soda for the purchase in your next, in your for your purchase in your next Is visit. It? Oh, yeah. that sounds really cool. Okay. It's for free teacher. But in the next, right? Not in the same, but in the next. And the first one you will get for free, a coffee or a juice or a soda. And if you refer a friend, you will get a discount in the next purchase. Okay, okay, that sounds really interesting. Oh, it calls my attention that you didn't select one specific price for all the sandwiches, but you can design, you can customize, and you can choose the products you like, the ingredients you like, and put it there. Okay, sounds really cool. This is more like, like Subway, right? Like Monday this, Tuesday this. Okay, cool. Sounds really nice. Uh, thank you so much for this. Um, I, I really, I, I'm like, like too. so great, but more cheaper. <laughs> yeah, because it depends on what you want to put in that. Okay, thank you. That sounds like a very nice presentation, guys. Let's go with the last but not the least, group number four. And the person who is presenting is Judy, right? Este Francisco lo anotó, no sé. Francisco, where are you? I um well, why, who why, will buy this sandwich? Um uh, is for the family. Um what what are the ingredients? Um, bread for a sandwich, mayonnaise, ham and cheese, lettuce, cucumber and tomato, um, bread for a sandwich, lettuce, chicken pass, ketchup, and bread for sandwich. Okay. Um, how will you let people know about this product, convince them to buy it um, for Facebook and Instagram. Oh, okay. It's all. Oh, okay, okay, that sounds good. That sounds all right, guys. Um, so uh, did you mention the price of your sandwich? Um, no, 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 sorry. Uh, the price is, Three dollars with fifty cents. Okay, three dollars fifty cents. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. I, I think that is like um, include like, the delivery. Oh, so this is like with delivery included. Yes. Oh, okay, three dollars and fifty cents. Yes. Okay. Here in in Acajutla is the price normal. In Acajutla, you said? Yes, I live in Acajutla. The price of the um, one sandwich is $3 with or $4. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, uh, the thing is that you included here, like, 
a little bit of delivery. So I'm like, <laughs> oh, that is too cheap. Okay, <laughs> thanks a lot for that. All right, thank you guys. Um, I was trying to create here like a sort of survey, but por alguna razón no me da la opción para crear las encuestas. So uh, I wanted to have the votation here. Let me see if I'm able to do so. We will do that. No, I don't think I can. Okay, anyways, we're gonna like move on here. No, I cannot create that. Okay, guys, so the photo, the four presentations were just amazing. The four sandwiches were really good. And I really liked that you worked together. That was like super, super nice. Now, part of the things that we are going to be checking today is the following. Now that we created a sandwich, at the moment in which you were creating this sandwich, a couple of things happened. Um, everybody came with this business idea, all right? So everybody was thinking about the, oh, how are we going to do this? In Instagram, in Facebook, in social networks, um, who are we going to sell this? How much is this going to be? So this normally happens when we have like a new product, right? We have a new product development, right? And it is exactly what you did. Imagine that this is for real and you are going to sell some sandwiches. So take a look at this one. It says, how does a new product develop? Number the steps in order from one to eight and then compare with a partner. So let's take a look at what we have here. What, when, you were, when you started talking about the sandwich, what was number one? Um, product development, idea screening. A screening is just like evaluation, right? Concept development and testing, launch, business analysis, commercialization, test marketing, or idea generation. What was the step number one? Idea you were, screening. Idea screening. And idea you, generation. And idea generation. If you take a look, here we have these four different bubbles. So we have prototype, uh, target audience, uh, manufacturing, positioning. We will check this later, okay? But first, let's try to put from number one up to number eight, what was the step number one? Okay, what was the step number two? So did you create first the sandwich or first the idea? Um, okay, so yo vi esto in Benigan's. I saw uh, in my family, we do this for breakfast, you know? Was that idea generation? Was that idea screening? I'll give you one minute, guys. Can you write from one to eight all the products, um, all the steps that you have here? This marketing, right, is when you start checking, you post something in Facebook and you're like, I know nobody reacted. So nobody um, liked it. Nobody sent an emoji to this one. I'm going to try something else, right? So one minute, guys, from one to eight. So which do you think is number one? Which do you think is number two, number three, and so forth?
Do you need more time, guys? Are you ready? All right, I'll give you one more minute. Um, just to give you an idea on the part of idea screening, guys, um, idea screening refers to compare and contrast. Cuando usted dice, ay, no, se parece demasiado, you know, uh, al que hay en some way. Oh, it's too similar to Quiznos. So that is idea screening, compare and contrast. All right, guys, so let's do this together. Um, number one, what will be number one in here? I think idea screening. Okay, compare and contrast. Do you agree? Do you have something different, guys? Talk to us. So idea screening number one, or do you have a different one? I think yes. generation. Idea generation. Yeah, that's totally right. So because idea generation is just give me ideas, right? It todos comenzaron. Ah, okay, so vamos a sandwich and this and this and this. But then after idea generation, oh, ahora si viene el que Andrea mentioned, yeah? Yes. That is idea screening. And then you started, I know, pero ese no me gusta. I don't like this ingredient. I don't like this. Yo lo hago diferente. So compare and contrast. Okay. Idea screening, number two. Number three, what is the, the next one? That's marketing. That's marketing? Like yellow yeah. lanzamos analysis concept. Concept. concept development and test no. concept development and testing oh debemos de probar el sandwich right we need to test it okay so we need to test it and say oh eso está demasiado dulce this is too sweet this is too salty I don't like this okay what is next. Product development. product development. Oh, product development. There you go. So product development is like you already got it. You already know what you want. Okay. And after you get the product, after you get the sandwich ready, what would be next? Business. Business analysis. Business analysis. Okay. Yeah, right. And then you start. Será que funciona? Would it work? Wouldn't it work? Antes de lanzarlo, right? Before even we uh, launch the product. So that would be number five. What goes next? Test. Test marketing. marketing. Test marketing or launching. What do you think? Test. Actually, that will work. That would definitely work. So yeah, we can have it here as number six. Yeah, we can start testing marketing, right? Like, um, you can start like, we are going to launch this product next week. Uh, who is coming and see people's reaction. Yeah, that will work. And what is next? Launching or commercialization? Launch. 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 Exactly. So what is launching, guys? Como lanzar, como presentar. Exactly. So launching is introducing the product. Like the sandwich is here. Come and get it. Okay. And the last one would be? Commercialization. Yeah, the one that is missing. <laughs> Amazing, super good. So if you take a look, we did. No, we didn't do all of them. <laughs> so we did until the part of number four, the product, uh, probably concept development and testing. Unfortunately, no pudimos probar los sandwich. We couldn't uh, taste them, but we kind of have an idea how it goes. So this is a new product develop. Um, and this is exactly what we are going to be talking today about. And part of this unit that is idea generation and product development. Uh, 
Are you going to take notes? Can I move to the next slide? Are we good? Can I can I go to the next? Alguien está tomando notas? No. No. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Good. 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 All right, guys. So let's go ahead with a little bit of this conversation we have right here. Um, that is very similar to this. It says. Rodrigo and Edgar are the founders of Speech Masters, an academy to help business people become better at public speaking. They want to offer a new course and they are discussing the characteristics of their new product. So read the conversation. Take a look at the words that we have right here. I'm going to read the conversation first. Y luego, I would like to have some volunteers to help me read this and we are going to check vocabulary too. Say alguna palabra, guys, que no le reconocen, that is totally new for you. Escríbala por ahí, problem. and we check it later. Okay, y la revisamos luego, no hay problema. So we definitely check it later. Um, so Rodrigo says, hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down any idea related to the market we want to offer our course. Good idea but it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner, it's no big deal. After the idea generation, we should go to the screening, the concept development, and testing the business analysis. Mm, I'm not sure I understand. Relax, I've done this kind of work before. Just give me time and I'll teach you how to do it. So they are talking about this process of, that we did in the sandwich creation thing. So I'd like to have some volunteers help me read this. Let me see. Um, Arnoldo no lo he escuchado. I don't know how your voice sounds. Uh, so Arnoldo, Arnoldo, can you be so kind to help me please? Can you be Rodrigo? Okay. Thank you. Let me see. Margarita, creo que no he escuchado su voz. <laughs> Hi. So, no sé cómo suena su voz. Let me listen to your voice, please. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Miss. Good evening. All right. So, help me with the part of Edgar, please. So, Hi, teacher. No, no, no. Let me see. Hi. So, you are going to be uh, Rodrigo and Margarita is going to be Edgar. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should read, read Don Ain A.V. Reality. Reality to the market we want to offer or course. Good idea, but it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It's on bid real after the ID, yeah. idea generation we should go for the training the concept development de, de velom, de, development de, development mm -hmm. and testing the, the business analysis i'm not sure i understand relax I I we do the skin of work before you heal me time and I will test you what you hope to do. All right, thank you so much. Okay, very nice guys. There we go. So I see a couple of hands up. So yes, definitely. You are going to help me read as well. Uh, solo antes eh, to have you here, uh, vamos a pronunciar a couple of words that are a little bit confusing sometimes. So we have the word wonder. Uh, we have the word any. Um, we have the word uh, development. 
Um, and we have the word, let me see. What is the another? Oh, this one that sometimes can be a little bit confusing. All right. So guys, uh, repeat them conmigo. Please just repeat with me. Wonder. 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 Any. 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 Development. 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 Okay. Uh, Development. Of. 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 I've done. I've done. Perfect. There we go. Nice. Okay. So, Carlos, please help me with Rodrigo and Belen, help me with Elgar. Thank you for your participation. Okay. Hi, Elgar. I wondered if you could give me some pointer uh, to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down any idea related to the market we want to offer, of course, or course. Good idea, but I feel so confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It's not a big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening, the cost of development, and testing the business analysis. I'm not sure I understand. Relax, I've done this kind of work before. Just give me time and I will teach you how to do, how to do it. All right, very nice guys. This sounds amazing. So let's take a look at a couple of vocabulary expressions that probably are new for you. First, do me a big favor, go to the chat please. Y déjenme las palabras que son nuevas. Uh, leave in the chat the words that are new for you. Uh, or do you recognize everything? If you recognize every word, that is super, that is amazing. But if you see like a new word, you can leave it in the chat and we are going to help each other. Perfect. No words, no new words? Uh, it's just a question. Absolutely, tell me. I've is the contraction or I have. Yeah, that's right, so I've. Okay. Uh, remember that like American people, they contract. They use a lot of contractions. Yes, I've done it. I've seen it. Mm -hmm. And related teacher is the verb in past. No, related. Any idea related to the market. We are going to check that in a moment. So I'm going okay. to write this word because later I will forget it. So, okay, related. Any other word? That is good for you guys. I'm going to include then a couple of words. Yes, tell me, tell me, Ricardo. I wonder. Wonder. Mm -hmm. Okay, I wonder. Any other word? En, any. Okay, any. Any other word, guys? Let me see the chat. Welcome. Screening. Okay, screening is a process, so screening. Um, se le llama el Ellie. proceso de like comparing or contrasting. Ellie Dan. Oh, can you leave it in the chat, please? Puede escribirlo en el chat, eh, Menedemo. Ellie Dan. Leave it in the chat, please. Any other word, guys? Wow, I'm surprised. And I'm like gladly surprised. Okay, cool. So if there are no more words, just we're gonna wait for Mr. Menedemo's expression. Oh, okay, teach. Teach. Yeah. I have a question, but it's only for the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. How do you say uh, uh, char characteristics? Uh, cara? Ca the pronunciation, sorry. I don't know how to say. Uh, Se me lengua la traba, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Cara. Characteristics. Yeah, characteristics. Characteristics, okay. Yeah, so um, algo que funciona mucho es no abre mucho los labios. Just close them a little bit. Devil, man. Char characteristics. Characteristics. Ah, yeah. okay, okay. Suena como una E casi. It sounds like a sort of E. So characteristics. Characteristics. Um, okay. But I don't get the, your word, Ricardo. I don't really get it. Um, 
So probably, eh, puede revisarla there. You can check it there. Y, y la puede, like, transcribir, right? You can um, write it there so we can get a better picture. Okay, guys. So, revisamos esas de acá. Probably son new. Así que vamos a tomarnos un par de segunditos para revisar vocabulario también. Um, ¿Pueden abrir el micrófono, guys? Can you open your microphone a moment? Solo quiero escuchar cómo pronuncian esas palabras. So, the first one is related. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Any. 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 Screening. Screening. Teach. Teach. Characteristics. 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 There yeah, you go. Okay. So that is the one. Okay, guys. So uh, let me just uh, mute you all. Y vamos ahora con el vocabulario. And this is going to be the last activity we will do today. Related. ¿Cómo utilizo la palabra related? Uh, lo uso para todo lo que esté relacionado, right? For example, um, uh, I don't know. Let's think a little bit about the, um, I don't know, the crocodile, for example, crocodile is related with all the, um, um, oh my God, how do you call those animals? Um, so the crocodile is related with, oh uh, uh, yeah, thank you so much. I was like trying to look from the back of my head. <laughs> Okay, so the crocodiles is related with all the reptiles. So la palabra related means relacionado, familiarizado, right? Mm -hmm. uh, for example, when you say, estoy familiarizada con ese tema. Oh, I am, I am related, I'm familiar with that, yeah? So related es que hay una relación. So that is the normal uh, expression we use. I wonder. Teacher, we, sorry. Yes. It related, it's like, when you say, for example, I already know about the topics. It's something that is uh, related. Related, okay. Uh, it's something that is related. Es como tiene alguna relación, tiene alguna familiaridad. Yeah, that's the one we use. Okay. Um, the expression wonder, be careful porque hay otra que lleva la letra A. But the wonder se usa exactly like this, right? I wonder. Si han escuchado alguna vez la canción Lemon Tree, it's like, I wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder. I don't know. <laughs> so I wonder is I ask I wonder, myself. I wonder. Yo me pregunto, ya. Cuando ustedes tienen preguntas para a sí mismo, you know. I wonder, I wonder what's I, going on. Mm -hmm. I wonder should I, I drink in, in, Ya vamos a hacer los ejemplos, no worries. Ya vamos a hacer los ejemplos, no worries. So I wonder, um, I wonder why that's going on. I wonder what is happening, right? So I wonder. Voy a borrar la palabra, uh, well, no, screening is good. Any, we know that any lo usamos para ninguno, right? Uh, I don't have any money. I don't have any friends. I don't have any babies. So normalmente para negativas, we normally use it for negative sentences. Screening, si trabajan en recursos humanos, this is an expression related to human resources, donde um, se hace una evaluación de todos los candidatos, right? And usted selecciona al más idóneo para el puesto. So that is called screening. Se compara y se contrasta, right? So si alguna vez tienen una entrevista y le dicen, oh, we are going to do the screening process, that means van a hacer la comparación de todos los candidatos that are applying for a job, right? Uh, teach. ¿Alguien me ayuda con teach? Enseñar. Yes, there you go. Teach es la acción, right? When uh -huh. you do teacher. Learning. The, I teach. Not really. <laughs> I speak. No. So I teach and you learn. So teach and learn. Teach comes from what is related to the word teacher, right? So it is related. And the last one, characteristics. Ya saben lo que es. So I'm going to uh, delete. I'm going to delete it right. from the list. So, guys, tenemos uh, five different words that are like new uh, today. Probablemente no totalmente new, but kind of new. So, Teacher, tenemos, you, says, yeah. you said I wonder if a uh, different meaning if you put in an A. What is the yeah. meaning? Oh, that's a really good word. Uh, a really good question. So, we have the expression I wonder 
And we have this other one that is, I wonder. So, wonder es yo me pregunto. I wonder es cuando usted se va a vagar y no sabe para dónde va. So, when you say, I am wandering in the streets. Oh, I like wandering in different towns of El Salvador, going to San Salvador. Or sometimes I wander in Dollar City, you know, and I spend there two hours. So, wonder is... Como salir a vagar en nuestro salvadoreño, right? El wander en eh, Metrocentro. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah. I wander en Metrocentro, exactly. So me fui wander, y no sé para dónde Santa voy. Ana, that, wander, is, that is exactly uh, wonder. So be careful porque se confunde bastante con wonder. Wonder, yo me pregunto. I wonder, yo salgo a vagar, right? So, guys, tenemos siete minutitos. We got seven minutes. I'm going to give you this uh, five minutes. No creo que tomen más de eso. Para intentar escribir un ejemplo, right? So please, everybody, try to write one sentence, write one example con estas palabras using these words. Lo que se les ocurra, right? So um, I am in human resources and I need to complete Chip. the screening process. Yeah. Going to cheat. Uh, I'm sorry, can you say that again? Can you repeat? Uh, el guardi chin. I wonder. I wonder chip. But remember the wonder is yo me pregunto. I wonder mm -hmm. chip so, that and uh, working. I wonder if he's working. Yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense. Now let's do something. Uh, Mr. Benedemo, escríbame las en el chat. You can leave them in the chat. Escríbame las en mi cuaderno para también revisar la spelling y gramática, right? So we can also check spelling and grammar. Um, so we got a couple of minutes. Mientras terminan las oraciones, in the meantime, les voy a tomar asistencia. También I'm going to take your attendance. Se las dejo here in the screen. Okay, one moment. Guys, one quick question. Todavía ve mi pantalla. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes. No se ha movido. No, no, no. no. Ah, okay. Super, super, super. All right, guys, so just let me go over the attendance y me regalan siempre un present, please, para Did propósitos you? de control. Dígame, Miss. Sorry, uh, mm -hmm. I just have a question. Mm -hmm. It's correctly says I'm wondering or it's a different word. No, that is okay, but siempre le vamos a agregar am, right? I am wondering. Um, I'm sorry, I, I'm using the contractions. I'm wondering. Yes, I'm wondering. Okay. So I'm wondering if that is okay. Uh, como yo me estoy preguntando. Yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, my yes. teacher. Ahorita la reviso. Give me just a moment. Solamente les tomo asistencia, right? In case we don't have enough time, lo podemos revisar tomorrow as well. Guys, me ayudan con su camarita un momento, please. And give me confirmation that you're here. So, Ana Amaya. Ana Mercedes Present. estaba acá. Thank you. Andrea, yes, Andrea is right there. Here, teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Belen, yes, Belen's right there. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Carlos, Mario, yes. 
Thank you. Delmi Gomez. Present. Super. Felix Enrique. Present. Thank you. Francisco. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Helen Barraza. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss Imelda. Present. Thank you. Voy a probar esa receta, Imelda. <laughs> Iris. Present. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Thank you. Juan Ricardo. Present. Thank you so much. Kenny Ruiz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kenny Yamilet. All right. Maria Angelica. Present. Thank you, Miss. Maria Gabriela Gavit. Present. Thank you, Rafael. Present. Thanks a lot. Eh, Reina Margarita. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Ruben de Jesus. Present, teacher. Thank you, Judy. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. And uh, Mauricio. Mauricio is not here. Me a todos. Me falta alguien, guys. All right, I think we got everybody here. Okay, guys, so um, I think no, no nos va a dar tiempo para que revisemos, so we probably won't have enough time. So we can check part of these words. Lo vamos a hacer el día de mañana. We're gonna be going over um, this tomorrow. Solamente un par de cosas. Eh, les comentaba al inicio de la clase que para el día de mañana vamos a practicar un poquito más el... Uh, el ton twister, right? O el trabalengua. Así que, guys, esa es la única tarea. Aparte de la plataforma that I'm going to give for tomorrow, uh, practiquen el ton twister para practicar pronunciación. So we can work with pronunciation. El, el día de mañana ya les voy a empezar a postear las actividades extra in the platform para que trabajemos listening, pronunciation, um, que son de las cosas que más nos cuestan. Y como les comentaba, nos vamos a empezar a grabar también. So, guys, uh, thanks a lot for being here. Gracias por la super asistencia del día de ahora. Nos vemos hasta mañana. Eh, please, si alguien tiene dificultades con la plataforma, con el acceso, nos hace saber en el grupo para poder darle seguimiento. Um, ahora tengo sesión one on one con Andrea. So, Andrea, si me regala unos minutitos, please. Solo se me queda hidden the station. Y los demás guys, ya estamos dismissed. See you tomorrow. Have an amazing Come night. On. Bye, everyone. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Bye, Good night. Bye, everyone. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bendiga a todos y a todas. Bye. 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 God bless you as well. Bye bye. One second. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Hi, Liz. How are you? A little bit confused. Why? Um, because I I want learn more okay. English, uh -huh, but it it's a uh, a little bit difficult difficult. Why? Uh, because in my work, any any uh -huh. any people speak English. No, nobody. I, no. Oh, mm -hmm. that's hard because you don't yes. have anybody to practice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get it. Okay. Yeah, I totally understand you because I'm, I'm studying another language now and I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? So um, I think that one of the things that can help you a lot is practice um, pronunciation. So let me give you this tip. Um, sometimes what we do in internet is go to YouTube and listen to grammar, listen to explanation, mm -hmm. but that is not a bad idea, but that is not good because you need to listen to real English. So you can go in Google or you can go into YouTube and listen to stories. Whoa. So For example, let me see, or do you like uh, series? Do you like Dr. House? Do you like a Korean thing? Something like that. What is your favorite? Um, un poquito de todo, a little bit of. Of everything? Okay, a little yes. bit of everything. Do you like cartoons? 
Yes. Okay. What is your favorite cartoon? In this moment, I don't see. No, no, cartoon, no. But, but like in general, when you were a child. Uh -huh. uh, the Looney Tunes. Oh, I have never heard Looney Tunes in English, but that can be a very good practice. Um, have you? Uh, do you have babies? No. No. Little brothers or little sisters? I am a little child. You're an only child. <laughs> yes. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so when when okay. Oh no, you don't have ne nieces, nephews. <laughs> okay. Um, one of the activities that children do when they are learning Spanish is that they watch a movie one time, two times, three times, four times, and they memorize the dialogues, they memorize the conversation in Spanish. So you can try that. Uh, go and check Looney Tunes in English, right? Watch it listen to it with no subtitles um, and then you can play subtitles like the second time the third time and then try to memorize or try to repeat the same conversation actually la técnica se llama eh, shadowing es una técnica de repetición y es super útil it's like super super useful no solo con listening but also with vocabulary and pronunciation um, let me see. Well, por, por motivos de terceros, no se lo puedo mostrar acá. I cannot show you here. But mm -hmm. do me a favor. Escríbame en WhatsApp. So write to me in WhatsApp. Um, and le voy a mandar un ejercicio. I'm going to send one exercise uh, para que podamos iniciar. So we can get started with that part. And then it can be a little easier. So el detalle con shadowing. No es eh, lo difícil, sino que tiene que, um, como cuando uno estaba pequeño, que le decían, uh, que, como en salvadoreño, que imitábamos o arremedábamos a alguien. Ah, no, 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 no. De eso se trata shadowing technique. Intentar copiar, you know, el acento, la velocidad, eh, la pronunciación, lo más perfecto que se pueda a lo que estamos escuchando. Uh, so send me a text. Le voy a enviar un ejercicio eh, de los que yo he probado that actually are pretty good. And uh, lo bueno de algunos de ellos es que puede reducir la velocidad. So you can reduce the speed. Mm -hmm. Puede escucharlos más lento, más rápido, right? Y usted luego grabarse. So um, let, let's, let's do that. Let's start with that. Intentemos con ese ejercicio primero. Uh, cuando sea lo tenga, eh, me lo envía, right? Se graba que 30 segundos, un minuto, diciendo exactamente lo mismo que dijo eh, en el audio, right? Yo send it to me, yo lo escucho, and, uh, porque al final la idea es que alguien más lo entienda, right? Uh, somebody else understands that. Um, did you study English before, Andrea? Uh, yes, I, I study English in, in inglés corporativo. Oh, but are you here? In, things uh, a basic oh okay so you started in basic level mm -hmm. oh okay but but before before uh, before corporativo did you study in another place this is no. your first time yeah oh okay okay I i'm glad to hear that so comenzó con el curso en línea you started with the mm -hmm. online course oh okay well también ya hay you know cursos eh, presenciales and i'm like I, I miss them. Realmente los extraño. I totally <laughs> miss those ones. All right. How do you feel so far? So you told me that it's difficult for you porque no tiene nadie con quien practicar. Mm -hmm. I totally get it. Um, pero ¿qué, ¿qué considera que se le está haciendo más difícil? Is that vocabulary, speaking practice, listening? What do you find the most, uh, is the most difficult at the moment? Speaking practice. Speaking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pero ya lo escuché súper bien. Ok, let me ask you es que, something. Es que, es que vaya lo que yo hago con los otros teachers igual, ¿verdad? Y me han, me han dado así como tips. Y lo que yo hago y me gusta bastante es poner canciones en inglés de las viejitas okay. y subtituladas. Para y, listening. Ajá, listening and speak. Uh, Porque listening pongo and pronunciation. La ah, yes, pronunciation. Mm -hmm. 
Uh -huh. Pero necesitamos hablar. So you need to, uh -huh. to, necesita como la presión, right? That I uh -huh. need to communicate with somebody. Okay, um, can you tell me about your activities? Uh, what do you do? Tell me about you. So what do you do? I work in a distributor salvador. Uh, okay, and what do you do there? Sales department. I I offer the products at the client. Okay. Uh -huh. I I sell the course. Oh, seriously? Yes. Oh, nice. And, no. Okay. And all day I stay in the supermarket. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So you go to different areas in El Salvador. Eh, only Santa Elena. Okay. Only Antiguo. Yes. So you don't go like to uh, La Unión, you know, to Santa Ana. You don't go to those places. No. Do you go to restaurants or only supermarkets? Only supermarkets. Ah, okay. I attend the different kind of customers. Oh, okay. And sometimes they are um, very hard. Uh-huh. And I, I have a pas pas patience. 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 Okay. Patience sería a la hora de tratar con ellos. When I deal with them. So when, when I, I deal, deal with them. Deal with them. When I deal with them. I'm gonna write it here. So when I deal with them, oh, okay, sounds good, mm -hmm. sounds really nice. Um, already, well, I think that you communicate quite well, Andrea. So you're communicating your ideas very nicely. Um, well, probably the only thing that I would add, lo único que agregaría quizás es un par de muletillas, you know, a little bit of some words. Um, para no dejar como ese momento en silencio, not to be quiet, eh, porque normalmente pensamos, obviamente, como las mm -hmm. palabras, a dónde están, you know, what word do I need to communicate? So, I think that you communicate quite well. Lo único que yo le agregaría es utilizar un par de muletillas para sonar un poco más fluida. No porque no lo sea, sino para evitar el tiempo en el que estamos pensando. Mm -hmm. Pueden utilizar expresiones como, you know, Uh, you know, let me see, let me think. Um, el mm, that is like super American, right? And uh, what I'm saying is, lo mismo que acaba de decirme, eh, well, yo sentí que me lo organizó super bien. Gramaticalmente, that was really good. El vocabulario, that was really good. Solamente agregarle esas muletillas para cuando estoy pensando, no quedarme en silencio. Um, a eso mm -hmm. le llamamos tiempo, eh, tiempo muerto, para no quedarme como... ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué, soy? ¿Qué voy a estar? Ajá, que como que tengo una idea Ajá. procesando, pero me quedo callada. Entonces, um, so to avoid that, puedo empezar a utilizar, you know, you know, uh, you so know. you know, pero así bien casual. So, uh, you know, know let me see. You know, let me see, let me think. Let yeah, me so think. I go to different uh, supermarkets in, in Santa Elena, you know. Cuando usted dice, you know, oh. lo puede alargar. You can make it so long, uh, you know, y usted sigue pensando. So, ya es como, you know, by default, y suena como, oh, she has another idea to, to bring to the table. So, that works a oh, lot. Um, let, me, let me think about it. Utilizo tres expresiones como esa. Ah, let me think about it. That is a difficult question. Oh, there are a lot of ideas. Diga lo que sea, you know, as much as you can say that sounds good, la idea es como sonar fluido. No digo fluidez significa hablar rápido, no. Fluidez significa seguir hablando, you know, like try to continue talking, aunque ya no tengamos o no sepamos qué decir, right? So try to use that, try to use that, you know, pero bien casual, yeah? So whenever you have an idea, um, well, you know, well, puede utilizar también well, Well, um, you know, y ahí se queda. Pero cuando la alargó, me da la idea que tiene algo más que decir. So that works a lot for fluency purposes. So um, envíeme mensajito, please. Uh, send me the, the text message. 
Le voy a enviar un ejercicio que podemos utilizar para la técnica de shadowing. Probemos con, cómo nos va con shadowing eh, con términos de pronunciación. Si le funciona, si considera que, que de alguna manera le ayuda con pronunciation, le ayuda con listening y si no vemos de qué otra manera lo podemos ir cambiando o podemos ir jugando con la forma como se aprende para que no sea you know, tan aburrido. Right? So we can give that a try. All right. So I'm sorry. Ya le robé más tiempo. I'm sorry. I stole a couple of minutes. Uh, but thank you so much for your time. And envíenme un mensaje. Send me the message. All right. In this moment, I send the message. Oh, I got it. All right. Cool. Ya le envío el, el, el link. I'm going to send the, the, the exercise so you can complete it. All right. So thanks a lot for your time. I hope to see you tomorrow and have a good night. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Good You're night. You're welcome. Bye-bye.